Just call Iowa the new Florida, although that was 20 years ago, right? The caucuses are over, but we still don't know the results. That's because of a massive technology issues and reporting inconsistencies that delayed announcing a winner. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov is up early with us this morning in Iowa. Dana, you were right in the middle of this late night chaos, caucus chaos. Yeah, and it was definitely chaotic kind of the whole night, Audrina. Good morning, Ryan. You know, I will tell you that people are waking up this morning and they are probably asking a lot of questions. Last night, folks that I talked to here at the Waterfront Convention Center in Bettendorf, Iowa, were, say, were saying, okay, yeah, there were some consistencies, but also the whole idea of quality control being one reason they didn't want to rush the results. But as I said, it was a long night, going to be even a longer morning as folks walked out of here last night not knowing who officially came out of a head in Iowa and they are still wondering this morning. It was almost standing room only inside the convention center as 11 precincts more than 2200 people packed the center to take part in the caucuses. Now there are basically two rounds to this process and a rule change meant counting people's preferences for both rounds and making sure supporters stayed with their so-called viable candidates to the end and those votes counted. Now in a nutshell some of all of that caused counting confusion with this rule change. Combine that with a chaotic crowd, multiply it by the state of Iowa, and you get this, a massive result delay. So they felt like the app was freezing or that they would get to a certain point in the app and it wouldn't let them adjust the numbers to finish reporting the delegate counter. So here in Bettendorf and across the state, all of the results, at least the ones they could count, went to Des Moines, and that is where everything is being sorted out. Though anecdotally, as for how candidates did here at this caucus location, what I heard last night was, and again, this is unofficial, that Mayor Pete Buttigieg might have been the overall winner here. But again, we are waiting for official confirmation of that. Live in Bettendorf, Iowa, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News, back to you.